every time I think about the fact that they're both siblings and marriage partners, it's just, oh, he said you suck. <laughs> oh, when the crappiest man in the pit tells you you suck, where do you even go from there? Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka Geek XX Chic, and we are back with another reaction to House of the Dragon. We're now into episode two of season two. So the season premiere kicked off with a bang. We basically picked up where we left off from last season. Rhaenyra was grieving her son, not taking it well, decided when she finally did come back from trying to recover her son's body that she wanted a son for a son or revenge. And we see that Damon decided to take that upon himself to try to make that work the best way he could at that point. But it wasn't the most, shall we say, fleshed out plan. And instead of it getting Instead of getting revenge on Aemond, it turned out that the young prince was taken out instead. And yeah, now it's kind of be, it's going to be interesting to see the fallout from this because this was now two innocent sons that have been casualties of this cold war that's been going on. So yeah, I'm very interested to see what's going to happen when both sides find out. I don't think that Rhaenyra is going to be all that empathetic, but you know, we're just going to have to see. So I don't want to talk too much about it. I'm ready to get into this episode. So let's do that. But just before we do, a reminder that if you'd like to be in the know when I drop these episodes or any other shows you might be watching of mine, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell, and then you'll be in the know. All right, that out of the way, guys, let's get into the episode right now. Now you're evacuating? Jeez, if only there was a King's Guard that was there protecting the children. Oh wait, there was, but he was all up under the Queen Mother? Okay. I'll kill them! Whoa. I'll kill them all! That's your daddy's Traitors! life's work. Traitors and villains. But for real, what did your dad's life work do for that? You know how long he spent on that Lego collection? Like his whole damn life. Now this one-eyed bitch. He's probably just thinking it's one step closer to the throne anyway. All for money. The villain will be found. Will they? We mustn't be shaken by this. Okay, sure. Just another day. This is why y'all suck. But what have you done to, to, to Micah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what about Rhaenyra? She's lost two children. You didn't seem to shed any tears over that. Please pitch yourself into the sea. The gods punish us. They punish me. Well, I'm glad you're starting to see that you're not completely blameless sin? in all this. For what sin, Otto? Some good may yet come Of course, come on ever this. the opportunist. He's like, I don't even like that grandbaby anyway. I got more. Were you also threatened to grace? I could have been! He's taking it well. My son is my legacy! You can have more. And where were you? Exactly. The Where were you? Please answer the question. The Here's the mic. Lying. You should Instead behead him. Instead of safeguarding the sanctity of my family. Exactly. This is not the time behead for him. blind accusations, your grace. Is it blind? Who would do this save the bitch queen of bastards? The Why the hell is Laris in here? We caught him fleeing the gate of the gods with the child's head in a sack. Guess he didn't run fast enough. It could be any one of you in this room. Oh, scary. Leave the brother alone, please. Thank you. Keep moving. I will not be seen as weak. You're already seen as weak, Aegon. I mean, he ain't lying. <laughs> you should have thrown that at your grandpa's head, dummy. A funeral progress. Let them see the child. Let them look upon the works of this pretender to the throne. Wow, he said we're going to use your child's body for a war. I'd be so proud if I were you. I will not have my little son's body. You're going to do it, Egan. I don't know why you're pretending. Like a dead dog. Oh, dragged on it. Jaehaerys was my grandson. I loved him. You did not. I will not have him die in vain. You did not care about that kid at all. Jaehaerys will do more for us now than a thousand knights in battle. Again, do you hear that your grandfather does not care at all about this child? Okay. Mother. Oh, don't look to her. She's so far up your granddaddy's ass. You can't even see where the two of them come apart. The only person I feel sorry for is that poor baby. And of course, this one, because she actually... Bless her ditzy little heart. She can't control what family she was born into. Helena, what you saw 
last night when you came to my room. This is for my boy. Yeah, she doesn't give a damn about you and your adultery hoe. She saw her child beheaded. You think she cares about you riding on that old... Anyway, scooping up Rhaenyra's leftovers, as usual. <sighs> I mean, I'm fortunately, I'm not even was, sorry for you. I was Diamond Targaryen. Oh, you speaking, huh? Employed by the household. I don't know who's I hope right they there. torture you anyway, because you did not need to take out that kid. Y'all should have just left when you couldn't find Aemond. You had one job, so I hope they take all your fingernails and toes. That little baby didn't deserve all that. I don't feel sorry for a for Damon either, because that was sloppy work. Wow, that is a grim image, y'all. That is grim. Are you gonna hurt me? Yes. No. Damn. But I cannot vouch for his grace. I mean, deserved. I don't even like this little shit, but you did absolutely do the worst thing possible to his child, so you deserve what you get. What are you seeing, my dear girl? What are you seeing? Oh, I would give a penny to have an episode to see how that girl's mind works. She's such a fun character that I feel like just does not get enough time. Great, not y'all about to toss this casket now because of a pothole. Uh, I really thought that baby was about to be tossed into the streets. Whew. Let me fly out on Vermax. Rhaenys is needed in the gullet and I can watch for movements from no, King's Landing. No. You stay close to home. It must be said that the damage to our position is immeasurable. At a time when we most need loyalty to our cause. Look at Damon, he does not give a damn. He's like, that's fine. It's all burning. That I would inflict such a thing on Helena of all people. An innocent. Hmm. See that demon you married, though? That demon. Yep. The death of. Yep, Renice is like, I know what demon would. I know what demon would. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, look who's. Did you send assassins to murder children? Are you surprised? I was clear in my instructions. Aemond, the brother of Egon the Usurper. I cannot be responsible. Cannot for be responsible. Yeah, okay. His cavalierness is hilarious, but in this particular situation. You have wounded me, weakened yeah. my claim to the throne, my ability to raise an army, my standing among my own council. Yep. I cannot trust you, Damon. I could have told you that last I season. Well, have you used me as a tool with which to grasp at your stolen inheritance? <laughs> Maybe both are true. To give up my brother's throne to the traitorous lies of Otto Hightower. My Hyder. throne, Damon. Mine. Mm. I think you used my words as an excuse to take your own revenge. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do you, do you accept me as your queen and ruler? Truly. Who was raised at his side? Do you believe he made you heir because of your great wisdom, because of your virtue? Here it comes. He could not trust you. Exactly. Any more than I can trust you. I was a fool. Who sought greatness but shrank from spilling blood to But honestly, does this matter now? The man's dead. You struck down a child. It was a mistake. Hmm. Could have been avoided easily. You're pathetic. Woo! That's something broken between them now. But honestly, she knew this when she married him. She knew all of this. Just didn't want to face it father just keep walking sweetie this is not a good time to talk to him i must know which course they take next i will be vigilant mm. i depend on you bela stay high and keep your distance yeah very far please protect bela i pray she didn't deserve to any of this she's please just leave her be Okay, see what you're up to now, Damon, now that you're angry and thinking super clearly. He's in full battle gear, too. Every time I think about the fact that they're both siblings and marriage partners, it's just... It's your fault. No, no, look at it. Look at it. Because while you're getting your rocks off, that's what was happening. If you please, my lord. Yeah, can you get the hell out of the way? Your vigilance is no longer needed.
What must be going through Rhaenyra's mind, how she would feel if someone did that to her babies, especially considering those two look exactly like her now late nephew. Have you told anyone? What do you take me for? A stupid... Ho? Why are you even playing? You know you're gonna have him in that bathtub, acting like you've got any type of moral sense, please. <sighs> if only she could just stay under there. I can smell you from here, what do you want? The white cloak is a symbol of our purity. Not you projecting your guilty conscience onto this man trying to have a damn sandwich. Slit his throat, it'd be so easy. So easy. The worst that would happen is you go to jail. But he'd be gone forever. And you were not in the private quarters where you might have prevented the crime. His Grace wished to entertain his companions in the throne room. Oh, but if you thought to go upstairs, where were you? Oh, Commander. Period! Actually? Why is queen? brother is a thief and a traitor to the crown. But what does that have to do with him? Yeah, everyone's like, so anyways, I need to get back. To Judy right now. First your brother betrays us, and then the young prince is murdered. On whose watch? You have brought disgrace upon our ranks. I hate this man. And now you must restore it. He okay. You will go to Dragonstone and strike down Rhaenyra in her own halls. Oh, you think so, huh? Okay. We will pay the princess back in her own bloody coin. Why don't you do it, since you're such a great warrior? We are sworn to serve forthrightly. Hmm. Not to traffic in deception. Yeah, I know some of us actually know what our vows are, Kristen. Sir Horalot, your pain needs to be excruciating when the time comes. Or must I question your loyalty to the king? I need him to suffer so badly. So freaking badly. Such a little bitch. Okay, Bella. Sometimes I think I hate him. Hmm. Understandable. It's not exactly warm. And Sir Harwin Strong. He was gentle. And fierce. He loved us. I think he actually did very much. I miss Luke. Understandable. I like them. Please protect them. Even though I know I'm putting that prayer into absolute nothingness. Damon sent them to kill me. Why am I not surprised he drinks milk? Probably smells it too. The boy is grown into a man. Yeah. Yeah. Not here. Your kids are all completely messed I up, Allison. I business with Luke. I am sorry for it. Mm. I am glad to hear it. Are you though? They used to tease me. Oh, and that just, oh, you should be a bully to everybody else. That when princes lose their temper, it is often others who suffer. Exactly. He's like, I actually don't care, ma'am. I paid you to sit here and listen to me and make me feel important. The markets have been running low since the blockade. Surely the city cannot yet be short. This is a smith, right? That was asking for wages to be paid in advance? I was promised us some relief. Did he say when? He's a little distracted, you know, mourning his child and all. I hear Lord Corliss himself commended you for your service to him. Mm-hmm. And? He made no offer. And I'd rather he didn't, truth be told. Do not be Why? Had I such a chance, I would leap at it. That's because you haven't seen what I've seen. What have you seen? Remind him of your word. Oh, I need no favors. But brother, he owes you. He owes us. Does the stew have carrots in it? That's his way of saying, I don't want to talk about it. Don't care who owes what. Devotion has never sat well with him. Where he goes, he wishes to be his own master. That much has always been true. Another reason why he shouldn't be king. You don't think Damon will challenge her? Hmm. Interesting. But neither can he allow her to command him. I have an occasion found that to be... Quite enjoyable. Okay, kinky. Let's keep it on track here. We're talking about royal things. We will not let the queen falter. Thank God for you. Women getting it done as usual. He gave Damon two names. 
That is the extent of it, and I did not wish to do that much. He said it was the price of my freedom. She's telling the truth. Does he say otherwise? <laughs> Didn't say nothing. He's gone. Barely. He does do that. Doesn't he? Mm. You're not the only one who had a crush on him, Rhaenyra. He's got a line, sadly. I do nothing now but ask you to honor your husband's words. It would not serve me to set you free. Damn. She said he made you that promise, not me. I made it my aim to be of consequence. But now, I see that was the wish of a child. It's true. You get so much more done in the shadows. I think Rhaenyra needs to hear that from time to time, though, because she often thinks her suffering and her journey is like the hardest one, and she still had a very charmed life, considering. Is that you, Bela? Please be further away. Must be Bela. I feel like she's still too close. I don't like it. <laughs> Protect Bela, please. What's what's happening? Why? Rat catchers in the king's employ. Yep. What I tell you? Exist. Yeah, Egan's uh, he's not a nice man. Oh, they got the right one though. But why did everyone have to go? Guess they don't. Oh, I mean he kicked you. Well, actually it wasn't him. It was the other guy. Another reason he deserves to get tortured. What have you done? He doesn't care. Idiot. Beware how you speak to your king, my lord. The king is my grandson, and my I grandson is a fool. Hate he's everyone in this room. And their wives and children gather now at our gates to weep and curse your name. Now you shut the door. I don't know why you're yelling. This is your progeny. After all I've done for you, thoughtless, feckless, self-indulgent. At and least where did I you did learn that so from. I, hmm, I wonder. We must act. Okay. Sir Kristen Cole has acted. Exactly. And what? Exactly. That facial expression is me to everything. Everything that's happening here. You sent Sir Eric to slay Rhaenyra. You think you're so smart, don't you? You think you did something, didn't you? Sir Horlot. Yeah. He's pretending to be his own twin. Brilliant. Is it? Okay. Look at him. He's like, I'm surrounded by idiots. <laughs> it's time the bitch queen paid a price. She still doesn't think of you, bro. Not one day. In the eyes of our enemy, ill-considered, trifling. That's your grandson, your blood. You never think of your father. Judiciousness. He doesn't care. He never liked his dad, never respected him either. Fuck dignity. I want revenge. Okay, we we've heard that. My father is dead. And we are the poorer for it. He said you suck. <laughs> oh, when the crappiest man in the pit tells you you suck, where do you even go from there? <laughs> where do you crawl to? That's your that's your blood. He was right about you. Hmm. He was. He made me king. He didn't. Is that what you think? <laughs> You're petty for that auto, but I love you for it. Remove your badge. That one so thing. Otter. I mean, you in my father's hand. Now I'm going to put Sir Crutch. Sir Crutches is mine. You wouldn't dare. He just did. I have dared. And I find it stimulating. Ew. He probably really does have a boner right now. Bro, you did this to yourself. This is you created this mess. So don't be mad that it's starting That's to actually get onto you. Cup. Second time you've been de-handed. Look at that. Give it to Cole. You have proven yourself. Oh, oh, please give it to Cole. He's such an idiot. Please do. I thought you were going to give it to Laris. You actually would have had a, a leg up. It would be a steel fist. Oh, please give it to Cole. This is great. Will. Regret yeah, maybe. This. But please, that's your fault. Give it to him. Do it. 
House green fumbling. House green fumbling. That's right. <laughs> oh, God. Fired from this job twice, bro. That's you so embarrassing. Dismissed. Yeah, I think he figured that. <laughs> but I will keep the word of my house if you say that it was given. That's such a long ass walk down to the docks. Go! Need two weeks just to make it. Wait, is she gonna see the twin? She's gonna go back and warn them. She's the only one who can. See, Rhaenyra, thank God you did what you did, because if you hadn't. Are your twin senses tingling? Does your brother know you're here? How did he get the same outfit? Aren't they different guard outfits? I don't remember now. But I guess it's not that hard to come by. Probably took it from someone else. Seriously? No twin senses tingling? Aha! Uh -huh. Twin senses! Listen to it! I don't think she needs her hair braided right now. Let's give it a minute. Damn. That pillow didn't deserve that. Ah, uh, the problem with twins. You must sleep tonight, your grace. Let me ask the maester for a draft. No, no drafts tonight, please. Damn it. Do not do this. I beg you. Exactly. But I'm just like, I'm just the help. I wonder, uh, this, I never have to check, actually check to see if this is actually twins or if this is a split screen situation. See how Renera did not let the servant just stay there? Egan would have thrown her right at him. I don't know which is which. Okay, now I know. Sir Horlot, you will pay for your crimes. You will pay for this. Which? Which is Eric? I don't know! We will fall together. You parted us! But I still love you, brother. As you strangle him? Okay. When you're a girl, stay near the door, please. Yeah, I think this is the only way it could have ended, unfortunately. Neither of them wanted to live without each other. This is all you're doing, Sir Horlot, and you will pay. You will pay. Forgive me. No. No. Yeah, that twin bond is something different, you know? Couldn't live with that. You know as well as I do that Aegon must be kept in check, as does Sir Criston, the two of them together. Oh, she don't care. But his devotion cannot be questioned. But shut up. He's ensured it. Schooled, his faith is in steel and bone. He has not the long view. Exactly. None of them do. Let's run away and be poor. Let's do that, Rhaenyra. I can't stay here. No, stay there. Sit in it. This is your mess. from the council. No, stay in it. Come on. As long as you and I hold fast. Do you and I now that you don't have any power, huh? Hmm. I have sinned. No one cares. I do not wish to hear it. Right? None of us do. Shut it. Honestly, no one gives a damn. I'm going to run away to Old Town. <laughs> Your tears mean nothing. How about you cry for all the girls you assaulted? How about that? How about you cry for all the rat catchers, innocent ones that died that you strung up? How about you cry for that? <laughs> the only person who deserves to be crying right now is your wife <laughs> slash sister. <laughs> wow, what a great mother you are. You wonder why your kids are unhinged. Go ahead, call in Sir Whore a lot. You know you will. I don't need to see this scene. I swear I don't need to see it. He's feeling himself now. He's like, I'm the hand. I'm the hand. Now I'm feeling kind of, kind of feisty. Anyways, we can skip this foreplay, please. Thank you. 
Like, I've been scarred enough by the boys. I don't need to see more of this nonsense. All right, guys. Well, episode two was, uh, it was heavy. There's definitely some dissension happening in both sides here. No one is in a stronger position than the other. Losses being suffered on both and the ripple effects of those losses causing a lot of damage that, of course, they couldn't possibly anticipate. We'll start, I guess, with the black side and then we'll move to green because green is definitely more the focal point this episode. Team Black, poor Rhaenyra, right? She's finally getting to the point where she's starting to just get her head somewhat screwed on after losing her son. And this happens. Damon does this thing. And honestly, this is where Damon, you know, the Damon that I did not like back in season one is, re is resurfacing. The sides of him that made me very anti-Damon in season one are resurfacing. Here's Rhaenyra saying like, why, what? There's no way. Like, why are they saying that I would do this atrocious thing? Like I am mother of so many children. I was lost two children, one quite brutally. Why would anyone think that I would ever do something that twisted to my own nephew, like to my own sister? Because we all know that Rhaenyra and her sister are actually quite close. Like she has no issue with her. She's like the one sibling that's not completely twisted. I mean, she's kind of crazy, but not in the twisted way, right? And so she's like, why would this be out there? And here's Damon smirking at the table, cackling, proud of himself, right? Knowing that she's sitting there sounding stupid in front of her own counsel, right? And then of course, I love how Renice right away looked across and was like, oh, I know what, who would do something like that. I know exactly who would do something messy and stupid like that. That would be right there, my, my, that, this little, anyway. So poor Rhaenyra, right? She's like, bro, what you've done has screwed me over. You realize now that there's there were houses that were in the neutral category that could have been swayed one way or another in this battle. And now that they think that I'm out here taking out children, why would they raise a, ban a banner to me? How's that gonna put any faith in me? You've crippled me. And of course he's just like, well, it was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. That's not the way it was supposed to go. Mm, I'm not responsible. And she's like, yeah, actually you are, right? Maybe you didn't directly do that. Maybe you wouldn't have done that. Although I wouldn't put a bad statement, honestly, like let's not forget this man literally took out his wife last season. But like you, you, you caused this, sir. You didn't have to do it. You didn't have to do it. You could have found a better way. You are not that dumb. You could have figured out a better way, a more guaranteed way to go for your target. And mm, no, you didn't care. You didn't care. You didn't directly say go and do that. But she also didn't say don't do that either. So anyways, you know, just the fact that what bothered me more in that conversation was this cavalier attitude towards what Rhaenyra was trying to tell him about how what he had done had shaken the position, all the, the ground she was trying to gain with this, with the support of the houses of trying to get this themselves in a position to actually enter this battle and be successful. And him basically being like, whatever, it's not a big deal. We'll deal with it. Like it's whatever. And she got to the crux of it. She's like, I can't trust you. Like you're my partner, you're my uncle. I should be able to trust you. Like this is should this should be an implicit bond here where I can trust you completely and you can trust me completely, but I am making myself completely trustworthy to you, but you're not reciprocating and you've never done that because in the end, Damon only cares about Damon, right? And I'm not gonna say that's 100% true. I do think that Damon does have love for her. I do think he has love for his children. He had love for his brother. Like there is a loyalty there to them to an extent and there is a love, but I do believe that what Rhaenyra said is true, which is that Damon ultimately is very selfish. And this is why his brother could not give him the throne because Damon does not give a damn about the bigger things. He doesn't care about peace. He doesn't care about the realm's health. He doesn't care about the people. He cares about what makes him happy. He cares about keeping Targaryens on top at all costs. That's it. Damon is a war animal. He loves, he loves chaos. He loves blood. That's what gets him going. So he doesn't care about any of the rest. And that's what is, but that is what Viserys saw in him and Rhaenyra saw it too, but Rhaenyra thought it was hot when she was a teenage dummy. And now that she's actually living with it and seeing the repercussions, like she tried to explain to Damon, I'm, I see now why my dad couldn't give it to you. I'm understanding clearly now why dad had to not give you the, this inheritance because he saw this in you time after time. And Damon's arguments were weak. I'm sorry, always, oh, he didn't want to act. Oh, he just, he named you. And then finally his truth finally came out, right? Because the beginning of the conversation conversation was, oh, who's, who stood up banners for you? Who stood up for you? Who's been behind you? Who's going doing all this stuff? But are you doing it for you, sir? Are you doing it just because you want Rhaenyra to be the fall guy? Are you kind of wanting her to kind of fall on her face so you can swoop in and be the one to save the day? Maybe a little part of you back, you know, maybe back here, deep down here, you know, underneath the cockles of the heart, maybe that might be what's happening, right? And Rhaenyra's like, I feel like that might be a little bit of it. And he's like, no, no. And then finally it comes out. Oh, you think that my brother named you because you, you thought you'd be good or because he was trying to spite 
fight me. Mm, so you don't think that my dad made a good choice. So you don't think that I'm actually a good queen, right? It all comes out, right? Deep down, it's true. He does. He still thinks that crown should have been his, right? And, and yeah, the way the law is set up, it technically could have and should have been if he had decided to do that and never married Allison. Anyway, we'll get to her. But that's not the way it worked out. I do think Viserys saw that there was the potential in Rhaenyra to be a good queen. I think Rhaenyra has the potential to be a good queen, especially now. When she was a teenager, no. She was definitely more like Daemon. But now, after what she's been through, what she's grown up through, what she's seen, I do think she's definitely a better candidate for the crown by far than Aegon, for sure. But anyway, so that was a kind of a crazy... uh. Not great arguments. You know, it doesn't put Rhaenyra in a good position to have her very inner house, not in order. I mean, like basically she said to Damon, as far as I'm concerned, like I can't trust you anymore. I don't know, do what you're gonna do. But as far as I'm concerned, we're operating on separately. I'm not relying on you. I don't trust you. I can't trust you. And what was it that she said to him? She said something anyways, but Damon didn't like that. You know, we saw that he kind of fought back, basically, you know, challenging whether or not he was, you know, I guess he was challenging whether or not Rhaenyra was right to to say that he was untrustworthy but in the end you know she stood her ground and so he took off we don't know where he went but he was in full battle regalia so he's either looking for a fight or maybe he's going to be on code with damon we just don't know but we see he didn't even talk to his daughter like he just gave Bela a look and kept going and like i said i'm kind of it's sad to me because last season they didn't really show that damon and his daughters like he does have love for his older daughters i'm not talking about his newer kids but his older daughters he does have love for them but he does tend to shut them out a lot but he does that with everyone right in fairness this is what how he is with everyone as we just saw with Rhaenyra but I felt for Bela because she's just like she very much has always wanted to connect with her dad and I think she was the one that was really close to him last season yeah I think she was the one that would like be reading with him and learning from him so it's probably extra hurtful to her that the one living parent she's got is being this way but we see that uh you know later on we see that she's got some frustrations where he's concerned but it is what it is right Damon is not an easy kid to love that's all there is to it right so anyway she's been sent to watch King's Landing so she could be advised of any movements they might make I think they're also worried about whether or not Aegon or Aemon's gonna get onto a, a dragon and be heading over. But I'm like I said, I'm kind of nervous about it. I don't really like her being out there on her own, but hopefully she'll listen and she's cautious and she's like her mother or not her, well, yeah, like her mother and her mother's side of the family and that she's not gonna be too impetuous. Um, really like that little scene between Bela and uh, Jace. Um, I think they're cute. Uh, I don't know, are they betrothed? I can't even remember. I think they are. Yeah, they're betrothed. So anyway, they're kind of cute, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up about anything because this is Game of Thrones. So that she may not make it or they both may not make it. Who knows? But I also noticed that Rhaenyra was keeping Jace close to home right now. He was frustrated about it, but I get her reasoning. Like right now, any descendants, especially direct descendants of Rhaenyra need to stay close to home because there will be people trying to come for them for sure. What else do we have? Still things going on with the, was it Alan? Alan at the docks and Adam, his brother. I'm not sure why they're coming into this. I'm not sure who they are. I can't remember who they are, but clearly with us spending time with them, there's got to be something. There's something between them and Corliss that's going to be brewing at some point. They're dropping seeds of it right now. But all we know is that Adam thinks that his brother should take up Corliss on any invitations to sail out with him when the ship's ready and, you know, basically get in good with the, you know, the god of the sea, basically. But we see that um, Alan is quite reluctant. He seems to have some kind of beef going on with Corliss or with Corliss's house, maybe the Valerians. I'm not sure, but there is something going on there. And clearly both Alan and Adam are on different pages about that, but I'm sure more of why that's important will come through later. But for now, for now, it's just some seeds being dropped about that. And outside of that really cute kind of moment between Rhaenerys and Corliss, um, yeah, and Corliss talking about the situation with Damon and Rhaenyra, they're clearly aware of the fact that they're not on the same page and that's not good for this whole council that's going on. And we see that Corliss has basically said like, I don't understand why Damon can't just deal. Like, you know, his wife's the one in power. It's not a big deal, but Rhaenyra's, sorry, Rhaenyra's is like, he's always been someone who doesn't like to be told what to do. That's why he, that's the, one of the main reasons Viserys did not give him the crown is because he doesn't come to heal when he needs to. So she's like, he might respect Rhaenyra and think she could be a good queen, but he will never be ruled by her. He's not gonna let that happen. So he's like, I don't know what he's gonna do, but it's gonna be some mayhem. So I think that was pretty much it for Team Black. Um, outside of, I mean, we might as well deal with the whole situation with the twins, Sir Eric. All right, peace, Sir Eric and your brother. I am so sorry.
sorry that Sir Horlot did this to you, that his projection of his own shortcomings, failings as a loser was used against you and it cost you your lives. You didn't deserve that. I'm so sorry for it. But I had a feeling the fact that they kept focusing on you since episode one, that this was probably meaning that things weren't going to go well for you. It sucks so much that that had to happen. But anyway, we see that uh, Sir Eric's brother was sent there to go and try to impersonate his twin and take out Rhaenyra because otherwise he'd be considered a traitor to the crown. He knew that the whole mission was BS, but he had no legs to stand on because Sir Horlot is literally whoring to the queen mother. So there's not much he can do about that. So he went and yeah, I mean, he would have been successful if not for, what's her name? The the Whisperer chick, I can't, Mysteria is it? Mysteria? Mestia? I can't think of her name right now. But anyways, her, which again, thank goodness Rhaenyra did the right thing and honored Damon's promise to let her go because otherwise that probably would have gone horribly. So anyways, uh, we see that that's what happened. Unfortunately, uh, Rhaenyra's lost one of her most loyal knights. I mean, it's only one, thankfully, but still it was one that was fiercely loyal. And like I said, it just sucks that those guys had to die at the hands of Sir Horlot, and because all that, all that stuff Sir Horlot said to him was pure projection, but we're going to get to his little whore ass in a minute. But yeah, that was pretty much it for, I think that was it for Team Black. So things aren't great. They're going to have to see what they can do to recover what they can as far as reinforcements and hold the lines that they have. They are expecting retaliation from Aegon outside of this, I'm sure. But yeah, it's just not good because Rhaenyra is just getting blow after blow. Like you lose your son. Now you're not on the same page with your husband. You know, this assassination attempt, just a lot. So things are definitely tense over there, but I'd say she's still kind of in a better position because she does have more level-headed and smart people around her at the moment. But yeah, she definitely is not doing well for numbers at the moment. So we'll have to see whether or not Damon actually does what he's supposed to do, or if he just decides to cause more mayhem, which I'm not exactly against either because Damon is actually like the most fun to watch when he's causing chaos, <laughs> if we're being real. All right, over the team green. What like a mess, like in, in a word, just a hot steaming pile of mess. That's what team green is like, just God, what a mess. What a mess. I've never seen such a useless family. And the worst part is they've got power. They're a useless family with power. Like even though I cannot stand Eamon's one-eyed ass, he's literally the most together of the lot, which is terrifying because he's insane. So I'm like, this is this puppet show. So we see that, uh, what's his name? Sir Hand, uh, grandpa, grandpa idiot, decides that the best way to deal with this death, this horrific, horrible thing that has happened is to use the death of little King Jaehaerys to bring the nation together because they're gonna blame it on Rhaenyra one way or another. Even if they can't prove she had anything to do with it, they're gonna blame it on her because that will get at least the people of King's Landing firmly rallying against her. And then hopefully certain ones out there who look at this act as just a point of no return, they'll come rallying to, um, what's his name, Aegon's side as well. So of course, rightfully, thankfully, Aegon was against it. But in the end, I knew he'd fold because he listens to whatever his mother tells him and she was like, oh, it's for the best, maybe we shut up. Anyway, they do it and it does for the most part have the desired effect. Of course, people are horrified. Like I said, that was a very chilling image that they put there. Oh, the stitching on the neck was just, oh, that poor baby. That poor baby did not deserve any of that. So as I said, that's why I was not sad at all about his two, the two people responsible being strung up and and or beaten to death accordingly. They deserved it. But um, yeah, we see that from there, Egan is a mess. And again, understandably, he loved his son. And as I was not that empathetic in the episode. I mean, I'm not saying he didn't love his kid, but like, he's just a terrible person. I'm not forgetting about all the suffering he has caused, all uh, those women he's assaulted or the children, his bastards that he's had fight each other. Remember that from last seasons? Yeah, I haven't forgotten. Egan is not a good person. He's, vis he's visited a a lot of suffering and a lot of people. So, you know, it's the law of karma. It's going to come around. I'm sorry that poor Jaharis had to be the victim of that, but what goes around comes around, baby. So I didn't feel that sorry for him, but yeah, it was clouding his judgment. He was very angry. He wanted to take out revenge on everyone, but not just because of his son, but again, because he feels like this is a symbol of him being weak, that people don't respect him. And it's true. They don't, and he is weak, but you know, 
freaking out and throwing tantrums doesn't change that. But again, he's raised to be this way, right? This is, he is like this because Allison was a terrible mother and Viserys was a terrible father. He didn't give a damn about those children. In fairness, the man was literally wasting away, but still, like neither of them did anything to give those children any level of direction. So unsurprising, they're all useless. So anyway, and they were raised to be puppets, right? And that's where Allison's dad was an idiot because he really underestimated the fact that these are still people, right? Yes, these are his grandkids and he's raised them to kind of be these puppets, but they're not pliable. Viserys was someone who was actually willing to like listen to a lot. He was pliable. Yeah, no, his, these children are all nuts, okay? They're all nuts like their mother. So anyway, we see that because of all this, he's acting the way that he wants to act. We see that Sir Horlot was mad the entire time because of course he realized it was his fault. He should have been standing guard. He should have been doing his damn job and maybe that wouldn't have happened. But instead of taking accountability as usual, he's finding someone else to blame. Now it's not only the bitch queen, right? Okay, sure, you're still rejected. She still doesn't think about you, bro. I know it makes him so angry every night when he goes to sleep dreaming of Renera and jerking off to her, knowing that she does not so much as give him a thought. Like she has not thought about that man since the day she left King's Landing and she never will again. And it drives him insane, but I digress. Uh, he's sitting there mad and he's blaming everybody. Oh, my dog, it's unforgivable. Shut up. You don't actually care, sir. Because if you actually did, you wouldn't be back in that room banging that crazy ass queen. Okay, queen dowager, whatever she is. Okay, being the whore that you refuse to be for Rhaenyra for this one. The hypocritical. I cannot stand that character. I cannot stand that character. Every episode, he just gives a new reason for why his character needs to go through so much. All the pain that Renera has felt needs to be visited upon that man tenfold. That needs to happen. And I need Renera to be the one to split him in two because I'm so over him. He's so annoying. But anyways, I already talked about what he did with the poor twin and sent him off. And we see that he's also within the ear of the king. That's how he got the whole thing approved. And then we see there that later on the hand shows up, Gramps shows up and he's like, what the heck's going on here? Like, why did you string up all the rat catchers? Like, do you realize what a bad message that sends about you and how it's broken the shaky faith people already had. And of course he's like, I don't care, I'm the king. They're gonna be scared of me. Okay, and then of course Cole's like, yeah, well you have to mind your tongue. You can't talk to the king, shut up, sir. But anyways, unfortunately, sir, uh, maybe not unfortunately, Unfortunately for him, Gramps talked too damn much and he forgot that Aegon is still technically the king, right? Even though he's your puppet, he's a puppet with power. And much like you were stripped of your hand duties before, once again, you, you cross that line. Like maybe not calling him everything but a child of God to his face was maybe not a good idea. He's not a five-year-old anymore, right? He doesn't respect you as an adult anymore. You can't be talking to him like that and expecting him not to, oh, I don't know, fire you, sir, right? And I mean, listen, even though it got him fired, I love, I high-key love that he like left him with, oh, you think your dad wanted you to be <laughs> You actually think that's what happened? <laughs> He's like, let me remind, no, boo, uh-uh. This whole thing is a farce. This is a big farce that I'm trying to keep going. You were never, your dad never looked at you as anything other than a product of him getting horny with his new wife. That's it, okay? That's it, you're, you, no. So even though it was the wrong move in terms of his job, I love the fact that Aegon the whiner has to live with the fact that not only does he suck as a king, but that his daddy didn't even want him to be up there, that it's all a big fat lie because he's been telling himself otherwise. So you did that one thing, Gramps. You, you did that one thing. I appreciate you for that. But anyways, he got fired. So... He then gave the hand to I'm sorry, I'm dead. The fact that you then named the dumbest guy on your King's Guard as your hand? <laughs> oh my God. I'm so happy because I really thought he was going to give it to Laris and Laris is actually smart. Okay. Laris is smart and he has connections. So I was a bit scared there. I'm like, oh crap, not Team Green actually getting a real mastermind on their hands. Whew. Thankfully, no, he put the dummy there. I don't think it's gonna last long, to be honest, just because that would be like, I think he's gonna figure out very quickly. Cole don't know what the fuck he's doing, okay? He's a dumbass. But anyways, he does listen to the queen though. So Allison will probably be pulling on body parts in order to keep him in line, but still, Allison doesn't know what she's doing either. So I'm, I'm so happy. I'm like, yes, Team Green, keep setting your house on fire. Thank you. Continue to make stupid decisions. I'm all for it. So anyways, uh, Gramps had to give up that handpin again. 
Like, getting fired twice in the same lifetime is embarrassing from the same job. Like, I would be so embarrassed. Are you not embarrassed? This is embarrassing. But anyway, he then went whining and he said he wants to go back to Old Town because people like him there and respect him. But we see that Allison's like, don't do that. Go try to secure some help. Like, actually be useful and stop sulking, you big baby. And I'm going to try to talk Aegon off this ledge, which I don't think is actually going to work. But we'll see. Um... And then we saw an interesting scene with her going to see Egan and Egan was crying because he is still grieving and her being a great mom and just walking out. And this is why your kids are messed up, Allison, because she walked out because she feels guilty, right? She feels guilty because she knows she was screwing the man that was supposed to be guarding her grandchild. And that's one other reason her kid's dead. That's why she can't help her own son who's going through the worst right now. You see how broken and dysfunctional and messed up this this family is? Like here's Rhaenyra able to love and comfort and be a mother to her children. And here's Allison who first of all hates her kids. Let's be real. She don't love not a single damn one of them. Maybe the daughter because she's like the one girl that wasn't completely rotten. But she don't love them kids. She don't care. Just the same way the grand, he's all great grand, but he didn't care about Jaharis. He was like, yeah, my grandson, I loved him. He didn't even remember that kid's middle name. He don't care. She don't love those kids. She don't care. And you wonder why your house is a complete mess. Just, just, oh my God. So anyway, that was mostly that. Was there anything else? Uh, Eamon, we had a quick moment of him just having a weird Homelander moment in the lap of this prostitute, you know, and smelling on some hot milk. Like, mm, yeah, someone's got some deep mommy issues. And listen, you know, him sitting there being in the fetal position saying, oh, you know, I do regret what happened with, with Luke. You know, I lost my temper and I regret it. Yeah, well, did you express that? Could, did you? Did you even remotely try to express that? Or have you sit there been reveling in the idea that, yeah, I did it on purpose? And why? Because you kind of did. I do think, listen, I said that last season that I don't think 100% think he wanted Luke dead. I don't think that was his, his objective. I think he wanted to scare him. I think he wanted, he enjoyed terrorizing him. I think the bully child came up and decided to become the bully in that moment. Did he expect it to go that far? No, but you're up in the dragon, hundreds of miles up with, with dragons and you're do playing that game? Like, no, sir. You know the dangers, you knew the risk and you took it anyway. I don't actually think you're genuinely like, sorry, he's dead. I think you're just sorry that it happened this way that makes you look bad. I'm sorry. When I, people are like, oh, but Eamon, oh, but listen, I will give Eamon his tens in certain regards. He's smarter than his entire lot of family. He definitely is a good fighter. He's dedicated. He doesn't shy away from challenges. However, he's not a good person, people. He's not a good person in the least. He's actually a bitter, hateful little soul. And I've always said that anyone who's been bullied and actually turns around and flicks that on others, I have no empathy for you. That's where my empathy for you ends because now you're worse than your bullies. Because if you take what was happening to you and you inflict it on others, you're worse than the people who did it to you because you knew better. You knew better and you did it anyway. So that's why I have no empathy for Eamon. He can curl up naked in the fetal position all he wants. I could give a damn, okay? I don't care. And him, oh, yes, let's see how no, my, I'm so proud Damon sees me as a foe. That's why he wanted, no, he doesn't actually. He should, he should, but he doesn't. He just didn't care. He just wanted blood spilt at any cost. So anyway, didn't care about that scene, but I guess for some people who are Eamon fans, they're happy to hear him actually admit that he's not happy about what happened to Luke. Cause of all the kids too, like Luke, Luke didn't do nothing, he's a baby. But anyhow, so I think that was pretty much Team Green. It is shambles, as I said. They're definitely going to be doing what they can to try to formulate. Obviously, both houses are still trying to get more support. We'll have to see how things go with that. Damon is our wild card for the next episode. What is he up to? What's he going to do? What is he going to try? I just hope it's not something that's going to get someone else who's innocent hurt. I need Bela to be okay. I don't like that she's kind of getting these singular little moments here and there. I don't know. I don't like it. It scares me a bit. I'm just hoping it doesn't mean that we're going to lose her soon too because I really, really like her. And like I said, I like her and Jace. But anyway... But yeah, another solid episode. I think we're just, again, seeing all these inner workings of the politics churn out. And as I anticipated, the ripple effects of these deaths is just continuing to have more and more side effects no one could have possibly seen. But in the end, all I know is that Sir Horlot and everyone on Team Green needs to go. Speaking of that, actually, I wanted to say one last thing. I did read online about how the actor who plays Sir Kristen Cole, I'm going to call him by his, his character's name, has been receiving a lot of harassment after this episode. Apparently, a lot of people out there are unaware of the fact that this is an actor who is playing the part of Sir Kristen Cole and clearly doing a really good job because he gets my blood pressure boiling. But he is an actor. He is a man. He is a human man 
who does not do these things in real life. He does not live in a castle with a woman who rides dragon. Like, can we all bring it back to reality, folks? The fact that he's had to turn off his Instagram comments because people are putting death anyway. Let me not get myself demonetized. The point is people, people, you can be angry at the character. You can dislike the character. I do. I cannot wait till that character is gone. But that actor has nothing to do with it. He's doing his job. He's collecting his check and he's doing a good job of it. Please leave him be. Please don't do that. Please, if you've got angry things to say about the character of Kristen Cole, there's plenty of Reddit threads and different things you can go out there and rant to your heart's content. Keep that in the group chat, okay? Keep that in the DMs. Keep that in the WhatsApp. You do not need to go to this actor's actor's page and be saying the most vile things when all he has done is his job. He has not actually done any of these things. They are not, he is, Kristen Cole is not real, but that actor is. So please be mindful. Please show kindness in a world where you can be anything. Please be kind. Please show some empathy. This is nothing to do. This is an actor doing his job. Please don't do to him what y'all did to the actor who played Jeff or Joffrey all those years ago. That man still has not returned to acting because some people were so vile. Like this is, this is a show and I need people to really get a grip, please. If the show is getting you that upset, step away. Step away, go for a walk. It's summertime, go get some air, touch some grass, meditate. Talk to a loved one. Do anything you need to to get yourself calm and regulated before you need to go and pick up your phone or your keyboard and do something that's unnecessarily hurtful. Please, guys, let's enjoy the show and not make it something that these actors don't want to come back and do. Please don't do that. This is a great show. Let's keep the vibes good, okay? Let's keep the vibes high. We don't need to do all that, all right? So that's my piece on that because I was really sad to hear that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. I enjoyed it a lot. If you did, please show some love and I will see you in the next episode.